Hey everyone, this is Michelle Aswear here. Today we are going to do a scrambled egg hash. And so we've got our ingredients ready. We're going to start out with about a teaspoon of um, some coconut oil. Um, I like coconut oil because there's a lot of health benefits to it. Um, and so that's where I kind of start out to make sure I'm getting some of my healthy fats. And then we are going to add some lean turkey. And so I'd rather get my fat from a better source um, like the coconut oil versus having a fatty turkey and we're going to cook this up in just one moment and as we get ready we're going to add and cook some bell peppers with the meat because that needs to be browned. Um, while I'm doing this I'm going to kind of explain what we have here I'm using um, some butternut squash right now this is the season for squash uh, as people's gardens and stuff are coming in, a lot of people have this. It's easy to find in most stores. And the reason why I like using the squashes is because anytime you have any kind of a gut issue, it's so much healthier using the squash over the sweet potatoes. You can use sweet potatoes if you don't have a gut issue, but with the squash, it's great because it's a single molecule and the, bot, the gut just uses it much better. So some of the symptoms you might notice if you have a gut issue is when you eat raw vegetables, you bloat really a lot, um, you find that you're really gassy. Those are symptoms of a gut issue. And so you'd actually do be so much better using, for your carb source, squashes. So you can do sweet potato, you can do, or I'm sorry, you can do um, butternut, spaghetti, acorn. There's a lot of different squashes so that you're meeting your carbo carbohydrate content. And then we're just going to use four eggs as we can and we're going to go ahead and just scramble those really quick. And on eggs, I'm really fanatical about that. If you can find someone that has chickens local, that's really what you want. The difference in taste is huge um, and you always can tell by the yolks. Usually they're much, much orangier versus a yellow color. And so, that if you when and where you can get that. If you can't, then go and try and get the omega eggs that are, and you want free range um, where they're actually roaming around, um, and you want them to have uh, the feed to be a, a healthy feed, so that you're getting the you know just a higher nutrient value. So we're ready here to start cooking. So we're going to head to the stove and get ready to fry this up. I'm going to add my seasonings over here also. I'm going to use a little bit of Mrs. Dash. I'm going to also use the Southwest to kind of give a little bit of spice and some sea salt. And we're just going to get this going. Um, this is a great, fast, easy thing to mix up. I usually, when I do squash, I'll cook a whole bunch of squash at a time. I have it cut up, mashed up, and it's prepped and ready to go. So again, it shouldn't take you that time, much time if you're if you're doing your meals the way that we have recommended, then you will have all your stuff prepped and ready to go. And so you don't want to be, most of you, if you're like us, we don't have a lot of time. For me, I'm always, I have to be able to prepare a meal in 15 minutes, otherwise it's not happening. And so that's why a lot of the things we're going to be showing you are quick, fast, easy, and the more prep you can do, the better. Okay, so you're just going to brown everything and get it so it's fully cooked. You don't want to ever have, especially with turkey, you, want, you don't want to have anything that's not well cooked. So when you want your peppers to be a little bit softer, not quite as crunchy, each person has a different way that they like things. So we're just going to brown this real quick before we add our eggs and get it nice and hot. Okay, how long does it take to cook this? About 10 or 15 minutes usually is what it takes me to throw this together. So it's very fairly quick. You can also have all this stuff pre-cooked, and so all you have to do is get it, you know, get your pan hot, and then add your eggs and squash, and you're ready to go. So depends on how much prep you want to do. Each person's different, you know. Some people want to put a little more time into, you know, they like things cooked fresh right away. Other people don't care. Personally, I don't care if I can have it prepped and ready to go and have all this part cooked, so that I have less to do and that limits my time. I'm all about that. Okay, so now we're going to add our squash. We get our carb in. That looks like about enough. And we'll get that squash a little bit hot, and then we'll add our eggs in, and we're ready to go. 
And okay, another thing too, if you're ever wondering how healthy am I eating, you want to look at the, the, your plate or your pan and you want to see a lot of color. The more color, the healthier the meal. Uh, when you look at something like meat and potatoes and gravy, that, that's very bland. So bright colors, you know, are telling you that it's, you know, you're getting nutrients and the more variance in colors, you know, orange, green, yellow, you know, those kinds of things, you want a lot of color. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the eggs in. We've scrambled, throw them in. We're just gonna move this around until they're cooked and then we're ready to go. And if you could smell this, it smells really good. <laughs> Gonna mix your eggs and get it to about where you like it done. Some people like it a little softer, others like it really cooked. So every person again is different on how they like their things. When I cook the squash, if you cook it in the oven, you can half it down the middle, put it in a glass pan with about an inch of water, and bake it for about an hour. Um, David and I are really liking um, the the pressure cooker, and you'll want to look at our video on that. And that's nicer because you can cook it in 15 minutes. And this is ready. And there you have your hash. <laughs>